Sweet, it is recording. Good day, everybody, and uh, welcome back to the channel. So, today, I was thinking uh, maybe we revisit those headlights. Uh, I was actually talking to my dad and got this stuff. Figure out if this is uh, any good or not, but uh, he had it laying around and said uh, might work real good for the uh, heavily scuffed areas on my headlights. So, I guess we'll give it a shot and see what happens. You know, I think right now it'd be really good for a uh, cold start on the cop car. I'm telling you, remote start never gets old. So as you guys may remember, uh, we tried to give this a little bit of a polish in one of my prior videos. Found some of this headlight restorer stuff. I've used it in the past. It's not like super perfect, but it was cheap and it seems to work okay. As you can see, it's got some pretty deep scratching and hazing in there. And supposedly that product, uh, that new product that I've got there for my dad is uh, supposed to deal with some of that stuff. I'll take a look at the other headlight too. Wow, that badge is looking rough. Look at that thing. Might have to go buy another one of those. I think it's just taped on. But here's the other headlight. It's a little bit better than the other one, but that little polish I had Cleaned it up a little bit, but as you can see, kind of in this area, and yeah, some spray paint on my fingers. Ooh, I spray painted a fence earlier. But as you can see, it's looking pretty rough. But oh, and uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that are going to whine about my fingernails and tell me, ooh, those are really long and ugly. But you know, if you take a normal person's fingernail that doesn't have such a long bed on it, you wouldn't even see that stuff sticking off like that. All right, so there are three levels to this product. I guess the first level there is uh, more of a little cleaner. The second one gets rid of fine scratches. And the third one is supposed to help with the heavy scratches. So what I'm thinking is we start with number one, move to number three, and then try to use number two. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, time to give this stuff a try. Let's see, remove surface dust with soft cloth, shape well, apply a light mist of polish, spread evenly over entire surface, buff with a clean, soft, lint-free cloth. Guess this will work. So, looks a little cleaner, but I don't know why you can see that, but there are some deep, deep scratches in this plastic. There you go, now it came into focus. And I'm sure that's from going through everything in the world when it was in service. You know, off-road through, you know, shrubs and whatever else. All right, so with this, it says uh, test an inconspicuous area. I'm probably not going to do that because if I screw these lights up, I'm probably just going to get another set at this point. Remove surface dust with clean soft cloth, which is what we just did with the number one product. Um, 
Using clean dry cloth, apply this number three with firm back and forth strokes at right angle to visible scratches. Reapply polish as needed. Continue polishing until only fine scratches remain. Using cloth, remove all remaining polish. Apply Novus number two in a circular motion using clean cloth following directions on Novus number two bottle. All right, well, I guess we'll give this a try. So, uh, looking a little better. We still got some weird haziness, but we'll keep uh, working at it and see what happens. And uh, yeah, it's starting to rain outside. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and pull this thing a little bit further in. All right, well, uh, looks like it's about time to try using the number two product, and I think I need a drink. I know there's a bunch of, like, white monsters and things floating around, but since I'm in the south, I'll go ahead and stick with the dew. But uh, I got to be difficult and do a code red. So this says shake well, test an inconspicuous area. Again, I, I really don't care because odds are those headlights are probably gonna get changed out. <sighs> Let's see, remove surface dust with clean, soft cloth. Apply polish in circular motion until dry, buff with clean cloth. Repeat as necessary. Oh, it causes skin irritation. I should probably be using gloves. Yeah, that's an interesting color. The other stuff was uh, white or clear. This is like, I don't even know, grayish mustard yellow, sort of. All right, guys, tell me what you think. I mean, it's a little better. Don't get me wrong, but... There's still some really bad haziness in these things. And depending on what angle you look at it, it looks clear, and other angles look kind of cloudy. It definitely helped it, but don't think it's got it to the point where it's brand new again, I'll tell you that. So tell me what you think. Let me know what your uh, thoughts are. If you liked watching this video, please let me know. Give me a thumbs up. If you really liked it, you can always click subscribe. There's a little notifications button next to the subscribe button. If you really want to know what the next video is going to be about, uh, it'll pop up and let you know as soon as I post it. Other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for your uh, kind words and troll comments. And uh, by the way, I am not a cop and I'm not pretending to be. Until next time, appreciate it. Have a great day.